welcome back to another video on this channel. So today I will be doing an unboxing video for the Freya's Cauldron March box. So I did do an unboxing for the January box on this channel um, and I did intend to do an unboxing for the February box but I just never actually got around to doing it. So I did get the box, I just never actually filmed it um, but I did really like it um, but because I never actually got around to doing it last month and it just got too late for me to actually bother putting it up um, I am going to be doing an unboxing for the March box so it comes like this so if you've never had a Froze Cauldron before it just comes in a cardboard box wrapped in a like parcel packaging box um, I forgot to check how much this actually costs I think it costs £25 for UK um, but I will put all the information in the info box below on exact prices and also for like um, worldwide shipping and things like that because it does ship worldwide um, and everywhere as well and um, it just costs slightly differently um, but it comes like this it used to come in a plain box um, but now it is with the logo on the front of it which I do like um, so as we open it up they've slightly changed how they used to do it so they actually have the Book of Shadows pages in the envelope so they used to just be loose but now they have them in an envelope so this is really handy um, and then oh we've got a few other bits so this is just the Book of Shadows pages like it said so in here you do get a list of everything that is in the box um, which is really good and then you also get like say the information so this box appears like we are going to have a box to do with divination um, in this one so there is an info sheet all about different types of divination so we've got information on pendulums, on runes, tarot, oracle cards, witches runes um, I can't pronounce it very well so I'm not going to attempt it but basically um, tea leaf reading and then crystal um, reading and crystal ball reading um, and then also there's other forms of scrying and lithomancy I think that is which is reading stones or crystals and then um, um, is it ne 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 I don't know basically reading clouds I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that um, but yeah um but that's really interesting and then we also get um some information on candle flame reading as well which is quite interesting um and then also cauldron divination and wax divination as well so that's quite interesting um lots of kind of good information on lots of different types of divination so quite useful and then in here we have a pendulum kit um interesting so we have some information on here so we have a information about getting started with this so how to use it basically and then we have a little pendulum um, sheet here which is pretty cool I do actually intend to make myself one of these but I've never actually got around to doing it because they're not actually that difficult to make you can pretty much do this on anything like you can do it on fabric you can do it on wood you can even just do it on paper or card um, but it's one of the easiest things I feel like to get into, uh, especially if you're um, kind of um, an, a beginner or if you're just in like in the broom closet kind of thing and you're quite private and you don't you can't have like a lot of things like a tarot card, tarot cards, like um, any bigger things like to do with them. Um, divination this is really easy and also you can easily fold something like this up and put it somewhere uh, more private that no one's going to find it and then it's literally just your pendulum um which again is really small and easy to hide um and then with that we actually get a pendulum so oh so it's like a like a silver cage pendulum like this is quite cute sorry I'm not even showing you it I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but 
but yeah it's quite nice as well and it's not too long i've got some pendulums that are actually really long chains so i have to kind of wrap it around my fingers and then use it because it's just too long like but this one's a nice length so that's really pretty and nice um and then we get in here another envelope which has one of the wooden plaques in so these are one of the collectible features in the box as well um so i've got the rest i can't remember which one it started with um but i've got quite a few of these i think we'll probably be nearly finished with them because um i'm pretty sure i've got quite a few now but this is the astara one um so they're plain and then you can just color them in so i've used them um, them stabilo pens with mine um when i've had the um desire to be a bit more arty and creative i'm not very good at drawing or anything like that so i tend not to do them that often because i probably will ruin them um but i have colored a couple of them in before but yeah that's a really nice one um with that and they're just really nice and simple you can easily put them on so basically what i was just saying there it cut off because an alarm went off um they're just a really nice size to put on your altar and they don't take up a lot of space um and you can be quite creative with them and just color them in and kind of make it a bit more personal as well and it's something you can do as a little activity as well for the sabbat as well which i think is really nice so the next item in the box is an all c and i divination coin um so oh my god i never can open these properly so i literally rip them up because <laughs> i just i can never get them to actually stay nice so i've actually been wanting one of these i've seen people with them and i just think they're really really cool so i don't know if this is going to be reversed or not i'm not actually sure if it's reversed or not i think it flips back on itself but at the minute it looks like it's reversed but I think that's quite cool and then we have a mahogany obsidian cage keyring in here which oh I like that <laughs> sorry I like that it's um, got a little pentagram on it there. I don't know if you can see this. That's better maybe. But yeah, I really like these kind of cage key rings. They're really nice, so that's cute. Um, another item that we have in here is another themed one. So this is one that we've got as a collection, like an ongoing collection. And it's these like um like pendant um charm things that are tied to the sabbat so we've had quite a few of these i can't remember when we started getting them um i know we definitely got them at yule i can't remember if there was any before that um my memory is really really bad <laughs> at the moment well anytime it's not even just at the moment my memory is just terrible um but yeah um that's the astara one which is really nice um but I really like them because even if you're not going to wear it as a pendant, which I don't, I usually like to um, use it and hang it as a charm um, on something for something to do with the Sabbath as well. So that's really cute. Another item in here is an Open Your Mind Bath Ritual. So we have... Ritual um, prep in here. So we have the a blue candle, and then we also have some bath salts, which are deemed to be um, a bit of the new mind ritual. So these are Himalayan salt with lavender flowers in there, which is quite nice. And I like the bag that they're in. It's like almost like a tea bag style sachet, which is quite nice um percent i doubt things are going to come out of there because i've had some bags that like are quite nice to put them in but then sometimes they do actually wash out of there and manage to find their way out into the bath so then you've still got to fish herbs out of the bath which i don't like doing because it's just another job to do after you've been in the bath and who wants to have to clean and fish out things after they've had a bath i don't i don't know um <laughs> 
but that's nice. Um, another thing that we have is a herb blend. So this is an All C and I herb blend. Um, I'm not sure what's in this one because I'm really bad at identifying dried herbs. Um, I can see some um, calendula in here. Um, I'm not sure what else is in there, but I like these jars as well. So we usually get a herb in each um, each box as well each month. Um, so um, I like them because they used to do them in the plastic pots, um, but I really like the jars because they're all kind of ready to go from there and you can kind of build your little witchy herb jar collection um, quite easily and also you can refill them as well when you run out and you need to replenish herbs. Um, so they're not all blends as well, um, usually you will also get individual herbs as well like we've had um, like rosemary before and I'm trying to think of the other ones, we've got heather flowers as well. Um, so we do get individual herbs as well which is good. And then I think, oh no, there's a few other bits underneath here. So there is another box, um, some other things, but one of the next items is this nice little box. So that's a nice little wooden box just to store things in. Probably nice for like crystals or uh, maybe your pendulum actually. Um, that's quite cute. I think I do have something very similar to this that I've just forgotten about that I had until I've just seen this. So that's good. <laughs> Um, and then we've got some incense cones, so these are the uh, Open Your Mind scented ones. I'm not sure what that means, which scents they'll be, but let's see if they can't smell. I can't really tell what they're going to smell like. Uh, probably they smell nice. Um, yeah, and then next we have an oil. So we usually always get an oil as well. So this is the All Seeing Eye Candle Dressing Oil. So I've got quite a few of these now. Um, but yeah, that's that one. I could never tell what they smell like, but it smells really familiar, but I can't think what it actually smells like. It almost smells like clove like maybe it's got clove in I'm not sure it would be nice if they actually said some of the ingredients in here just so you knew what the smells were that you could actually smell um, but they don't or at least I don't think they do I'm saying that they don't but maybe they do no they don't <laughs> but it would be nice <laughs> And then the final item I think that we have in here is the candles. So we always get a little pouch of candles. So they usually also will be themed to sort of colours um, that you might look for in the season. So we've got like greens and orange and then we've got some brown and then some white as well and then a black candle as well. So um, I've got quite a collection of these now because I don't go through them as often as I would like to. Um, so I've got quite a collection, um, but I do think they're really nice um, and um, I do really enjoy this box. So I'm really happy with this box. Um, I'm quite sad that we don't have any of the like um, the plates anymore. Like we had the Sabbat um, ones originally, well not originally, but when I first started we were collecting those. And then we had the Goddess plaques, which I really, really liked, but they only did like six months of them. Um, which I was quite sad that they didn't do like a full year of them because I actually did really like them. Um, I kind of hope that they might do like um, a God's plaque or something like that. Um, like and do like six months of that um, because I did really like the Goddess ones. Um, and I just like having something that's kind of a bit more custom that you can't get anywhere else really. Um, so um, I do hope they do something similar to that again in the future. Um, but I do, like I say, really enjoy this box and I have enjoyed um, um, getting this box. Um, I've been subscribed to this box for over a year. Um, I got it in 
um, the December 2020 and I've basically been subscribed for a year since then continuously um, and I do really really enjoy it and I do really recommend it so if you are looking for a subscription box um, I would definitely recommend this one um, she's generally very like reliable like you'll always um, have communication from her she's very present online um, and also um, I've not had any issues with delivery or anything like that like it's always turned up um, within the like the time frame that you'd expect so um, I'm really happy with that because I have had um, other boxes that I've um, had before um, that um, have not been like that and when you've tried to connect um, collab like contact them to like find out what's going on they just will not even speak like they just disappeared off the face of the earth and still to this day I have been waiting for um, like correspondence from the previous box that I was subscribed to and I've heard nothing so I don't know what's going on with that um but yeah um but yeah like I say Freya's Cauldron is really good um I'm pretty sure it's 25 pounds um for the UK so I don't feel like that's a bad price point and I do find that it is worth it and I do really enjoy um the, the products that you get in each t each um, month so um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and um, if you would like to um, see more of these unboxings and things like that then please subscribe to this channel um, I'm also on Instagram as well so the same name the Moonlight Fairy if you would like to connect with me on Instagram I do generally post a little bit more often on Instagram and I do actually have a Facebook page as well although I don't post that much on there but all that information is going to be in the info box below so if you want to follow me on other channels then by all means have a look at those and hopefully it won't be too long until I see you in another video. Bye bye for now.